Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin. I am a ND, a Master of Science, and today we will talk about testing ozonated water. So when you ozonate the water, the real question comes, how much ozone I have in the water, and how can I be sure that the water I'm testing is potent enough in order to do the treatment. As you probably know, FDA approved ozone to be substance as grass, generally safe substance. And here is a history of approval of FDA and EPA allows to use ozone with no reporting of record keeping. Why is that? Because compared to other substances as a chlorine or other disinfecting, disinfecting substances, ozone leaves no residue on the surface and no, no uh, contamination of the water after ozone converts back to the oxygen. That's why EPA does not even require to keep a log of treatment uh, ozone uh, treatment water with ozone. So as Dr. O Solutions, we provide you um, ozone equipment and provide you the kits for ozonated water in order to do water consumptions, water treatment, or disinfecting. Disinfecting can be done for your surface, your, when you wash your, your table, you wash your uh, dishes, or disinfecting the surfaces is extremely important in a medical practice or disinfecting root canals as well so and this is comes the same question how much ozone do I have in my water so I have to make sure so my my treatment disinfecting or drinking water is uh, uh, potent and is done in a proper way let me show you some one chart this, this is the chart that represents the recommend, uh, recommending uh, ozone concentration in the water in ppm. It measured in ppm. As you can see, concentration is measured in ppm. Concentration in ppm and contact time in a minute. Okay, what we are uh, need to see is uh, drinking water. Like I said in, the, in the, my video for ozonated water, it must be between 1 to 2 ppm or gamma. Or when you do application for pre-surgical wash, which includes the root canal, for dentists that many dentists use ozonated water now, it's 3 to 5 ppm. In the water, uh, ppm equals gamma. 1 ppm equals one milligram per liter concentrations of ozone. Now, what we uh, like to know how much contact time I need in order to kill bacteria and other viral substances. And here is the arrow is representing this column represents ozone comparing to chloramide and free chloride. As, as you can see, the chart that's a contact time. So ozone, it takes up to 10 times even more, less time to kill, to kill bacteria and viruses with ozone than with a chloride or a chloramine. When we, when we see this, E. coli, for instance, it takes only, only a few seconds to kill E. coli by ozonated water. This is polioviruses, this is a virus, a rotavirus, and three last one is actually parasites. So the, the, the ratio represents gamma time contact time, time multiplier. So in other words, if we have one gamma, then contact time will be three minutes to kill parasites. This is not virus, this is not bacteria, this is actually parasite. So that's how ozone is 
very potent for disinfectant substances. But most important, obviously, we have to know how much the, the dissipated, in other words, uh, ozone remains in the water. Or you have ozonated uh, the water already, and you've been using it, for instance, in your practice, washing the surface, root canals, you want to know 10 minutes later how much ozone I have left in my bottle. And here is how we count. So, as in the water, 1 ppm equals uh, 1 gram, 1 milligram per liter. When we, use, when we develop the most affordable um, uh, solution, solution for testing, uh, we've, been take, we, we've been taking into consideration what the price is uh, supposed to be, because obviously there are some uh, devices available in the market. This device, $800, there, is, there are more expensive devices and for general use, even for uh, dentists, it's very impractical to um, use this device all, all the time and it's price prohibiting. That's why I developed the, the, uh, what they call it, uh, discoloration uh, substance. That's, uh, it's done by uh, discoloration of ozone of added substances to the certain amount of ozonated water. So in order to know how much ozone is in the water, uh, we develop this color testing solution and we've been ozonating this water for a while now uh, in order to reach high level of ozone concentration. And right now we will test it, how much we have ozone in the water. So let's shut this down. Disconnect the destructor. We'll pour ozonated water from a flask into another container. I will start my meter and put it on. And let it settle. We have, as you can see, we have two ppm, so two gammas, two milligram per liter in dissolved oxygen. So what we will do, we'll put in the measuring flask, 20 milliliter of volume. Yep. And each drop represents half of ppm. So if I have two uh, ppms, that means I need four drop, and on the fifth drop, the ozonated water will turn blue. Three, four, four now. Let me see. It loses its color, and we put the fifth one, and solutions become blue. That means, so there is no ozone in it, that means we have 4 ppm, 4 drops times time half, so it's a 2 ppm ozonated water we have. I think it's very, very easy to do by yourself. You don't need to buy expensive equipment uh, to, to do the measure, and we will supply you with a, a small measuring flask, that will come in the kit instructions and uh, in the small uh, dropper. So I think this is very good news for all of us, especially for you and like a dentist when they do the root canal uh, washing, disinfection, and it's really important to know how much ozone I have because obviously it's very risky uh, situation when you work inside the body and you really need to know 
uh, all outcomes um, and all counts must be uh, controlled. So again, if you like what you see, please give us your thumbs up, share this video, join us on Facebook. We have Ozone Research, Medical Ozone Research Group on the Facebook. Please join us, share your opinion, give, give us your opinion as well about uh, these products. That's all folks, have a good day.